Uh, even though Satan is a defeated foe, this eternal enemy of God seeks to destroy the people of God. He knows that he can't directly defeat God, so he's, he's focused his attention on the people of God. If he can get them to think wrong thoughts, to do wrong things, he knows what God will do. He knows. So see, Jesus has given us, well, we have the armor of God. We can stand in the day of temptation. Whereas, this is a marvelous thing. The enemy, this enemy can't be reasoned with. This is a, an enemy of this such formable foe for, for a man that you can't like talk him out of what he's... He comes with an intent, and that intent will be satisfied if he has his way. So um, obviously, the people of God, we, we, we um, actually escape indirectly. As we give ourselves to the Lord, we rise up into another domain where he, he can't even have an influence on us. So I praise God. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. But for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. So whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he's born of God. Now in this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. And neither he that loveth not his brother. Now God revealed his judgment upon the fallen angels. We know what's going to happen in the end. See, he's given us to know what's, what's going to happen. Why? So that we can escape the wrath to come. I praise God for the, for the truth concerning the enemies of God.